Hello and welcome everyone, Lionheart here, and today we begin a brand new Total War Warhammer 3 adventure on patch 4.2 with the Shadows of Change DLC with Mother Orstankia. I said I would do a full Immortal Empires campaign with her, but I decided to wait until we had the 4.2 update, which obviously has added in a host of new units, tweaked and rebalanced a few stats and things like that. We'll discover it all as we go through. Uh, it's been a good couple of months since I last played Warhammer 3, so I'm feeling pretty rusty, uh, in particular with Kislev. So, as always, advice, tips, and tactics greatly appreciated. Drop them in the comment section. We are streaming and recording the series at the same time, but for those on YouTube, you won't see any of the alerts, um, any of the pauses or breaks. They'll all be edited out, and of course, you won't be seeing my face cam. But if you want to tune into the series live, we'll probably be streaming it a couple of times a week. Uh, over on my Twitch channel, which you can find linked in the description. So, let's crack on. So, Mother Orsankia leads the Daughters of the Forest. Uh, faction effects, we have Winds of Magic, Power Reserve, Capacity plus one for each resource producing building. Global Recruitment Duration, minus one turn for Incarnate, Elemental and Beast units. Melee Attack plus eight when fighting against armies that spread corruption, all armies. Uh, melee defense plus 10 for spider hatchlings and giant spider units, all armies. And then Lord effects, we have targeting range plus 30% for spells. Enemy winds of magic, uh, power reserve minus 5 per turn local region. Enables magical attacks for the Lord's army, which sounds pretty great. And miscast base chance minus 50% for embedded hag witch heroes, Lord's army. Um, our start position on the map, we're over... Um, with the dark elves. I am going to be trying to confederate with the other... Islev Lords, so Katarin, Ostaltin, and Boris. If we don't manage to confederate with them before they get wiped out, we will enable the Recruit Defeated Legendary Lords mod so that we can then bring them to our faction. But we'll see how things go. Our starting army, we now have the new Kislevite Warriors, which everything I've heard about them is that they're pretty decent. They're a solid um, early game unit now for Kislev. They're armor piercing anti large. So they're probably going to be the mainstay of our of our troops. I don't can we get them as Osankia do because I, I know that she's restricted on the troops that she can recruit until she's made contact, isn't it, through diplomacy with the other Kislevite factions? To kind of I guess simulate that she's off on a random expedition. Uh so we've got two of those Kislevite warriors and we've got um Akshina's ambushes, which are meant to be rather awesome. We've got the incarnate elemental of beasts. We've got the thing in the woods giant spiders times two and some cave bats and there's her law for those that want to have a quick pause and a read in terms of settings we're playing this on very hard very hard battle and campaign difficulty uh, we will have endgame crisis enabled uh, whether or not you know we kind of make that one of our dedicated objectives to complete we shall see how the campaign's going on uh, but we've set that between firing between turn 150 and 180 but also it will trigger on long victory if we hit that before we've done something a bit different with the early warning time we've set that to zero so we won't get any warning when it's about to fire so i guess we should basically aim for that if we haven't completed our long victory before turn 150 know that from turn 150 onwards it's potentially crazy time because the endgame crisis could fire at any moment between turn 150 and 180. We've set the difficulty to maximum to 200 and we've left all the scenarios enabled. We haven't enabled ultimate crisis, so only one of these will fire. We'll see which. Um, everything else. AI stat modifier that's cranked all the way to the right to reflect very hard battle difficulty. So those are the modifiers that the AI has against us. So it just makes them tougher throughout with all their stats. And that's everything that we need to check out. So, let our Mother Orstankia campaign begin. Every winter, as the nights draw close and mists begin to thicken, the people of Kislev tell their children a tale always told in a whisper. From the dark heart of the woods, the Hag Mother watches. For those who bring destruction, 
to the forests of the Motherland, do so unto themselves. For every injustice comes retribution. Mother Ostankia knows no mercy. From the smoke, she will rise to claim her price in blood. So heed the warning of the wise, or be lost to the mists of the wood. Dun, dun, dun. The wise respect the land and avoid bringing my hexes to their door. Here we go. We're back. Path to victory. Daughters of the forest. Mother Orsankia must obtain six forbidden hexes to unleash upon the world, each guarded by those who's intent on keeping uh, these powers away from her. Claiming the first five hexes uncovers the sixth and most terrible hex. The ultimate punishment for Kislev's enemies, the Maledictum of Ruin. Successfully performing this final hex leads to campaign victory. Hexes reveal themselves as Mother Ostankia uses spirit essence gathered from winning battles, purging corruption and occupying magical forests, in turn powering her witch's hut, incantations and hexes themselves. Okay. And we have our first mission. Engage the enemy, defeat an army belonging to the following faction in battle, bleak holds right there so that'll be our opening battle uh our reward is mother of sankia will learn the purification chant hex and plus 10 spirit essence okay yeah this all feels very <laughs> um alien to me after not having played warhammer 3 for a couple of months now um but it's good to be back it's good to be back hope you guys enjoy it how does she play advice tips and tactics greatly appreciated either live in the Twitch chat or in the YouTube comment section. We will also name our units once we get Mother or Stanky's army to a full 20 stack. If you want to pop them on part one of this series on YouTube, you can. Uh, we'll do a mix of taking names from part one and also uh, live from Twitch as well. Um, leather treatment. What do we want to go for here? Hooked axe blades. Oh yeah, there's these guys, aren't there? The Watchmen in the Night. They're not... They're, they were with... Um, Shadows of Chain. I'm trying to remember like what was in the original Shadows of Chain and what was with the 2.0 update. But obviously, I've not played Kislev since the game first came out. My my original Zarina Katarin campaign. So a, a lot of tweaks and changes to Kislev that have occurred since then all look new to me. Um, ice caught sculpting, cold storage. I feel like that growth and replenishment rate early on is going to be decent. Tales from the Woods. Double, double. We will bring new troubles into the world. And the witch's hearts. We must have two or more trinkets to access her heart, which is where we get curses from, isn't it? Um, that's wartime coordination. We've got a hag witch of beasts. But she's got her own new law of hags now, right? So what's she got? Um, Bazorka's Wrath. Oh, that's the spirit bear, isn't it? She la literally launches a bear at someone, which I think that's great. Um, and then Witch Brew. Forbidden Fens Blessing. Oh, it's a hex, so it slows them down. Yep. Passive ability, fate of the interlopers, vengeance of spirits, vengeance spirits, spirit spell. If I'm not mistaken, this is essentially kind of like um, our final transmutation, but it's like better in pretty much every single way. Curse the ancient witch, it lowers block chance and armor nicely. Curse cauldron. Bombardment. Nice. 
Maledictum of Madness. And then we've got Magical Reserves, Arcane Conduit. Which one? I thought I thought this got I thought there was a is there not a vortex one? Or am I misremembering what they added? Wild oh yeah, her top line here. Ammunition, forest battles, woodsman, lord's army, forest purity, wildlings, charge bonus thing in the woods, physical resistance. That that's decent. Oh, she gets bears as well, doesn't she? Feral ice bears and feral bears. Okay. And yeah, obviously mentor. We got a quests, mission, and a quest. Oh, she gets a quest battle. Crown of Claws. Okay, that's cool. Cauldron of Power at rank 8 and Crown of Claws at rank 12. Okie dokie. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. All looks good. Are oh, you guys saying take a look at the spell browser? Yep. Four. Where is it? Law of Ags. Law of the Hag. So the Forbidden Fens. Yep, like that. Witch Brew. That's her breath. That's maybe what I'm thinking of. Witch Brew. Vengeance of the Spirits. That's pretty cool looking. Curse Cauldron. That's the Bombardment. That's... Oh, oh! Okay, so she probably doesn't have a dedicated vortex, but those spit out the little mini vortexes. And there's been a change to, vor for, to Rampage, hasn't there? I haven't fully checked all that out. Yeah, they look good. Nice. Well, at least she's got her own law now, a law of, uh, law of magic. Uh, we'll just have a quick little look at our objectives before we dive into our first battle. Victory condition. So short victory is obtain three of the forbidden hexes. Long campaign victory is to obtain all the hexes, complete the short victory. And only then can you successfully unleash the malediction of ruin. That's, that's good. That's nice. And then we've got the end game crisis um, to defeat that as a bonus goal if we want to. But yeah, minimum completion for this campaign will be completing that long victory. Happy days. And then, yeah, if we want to do the end game crisis, we will. Uh, mm, yeah, sweet. Do I want to pop you, Hag Witch of Beasts, into Osanki's army? Or do I want to send you straight away over to Kislev? Because if I'm remembering correctly, we have to... We have to... Speak to Kislev, yeah. You must control one of Ki one of Kislev, Eringrad, or Prague, or be allied with their Kislevite owner to construct this building. So yeah, we can't get any of these Kislevite units until we either have confederated or we have military access. Um, I'm just wondering whether it's is it going to be useful having Law of Beasts alongside Ostankia's Law of the Hag now? What have we got here? We've got the Ostankia's Hut. Spirit Essence for per turn plus four. Spirit Essence cost minus 20% for hexes. Income generation 200. Diplomatic relations plus 30. And provides two thing in the woods. So we want that. Um, what have we got? We've got the farmstead for growth and income. Hallowed wood. Income from farms. Yeah, they synergize together, don't they? Growth and control, but that also does more income. So I think probably go for that. We can upgrade this to get me giant spiders as well as spider hatchlings. A snow leopard. Oh, we can get, we can get the frost one from tier three. Damn. Yeah, you're new and fun and terrifying. Okay, yeah, I guess upgrade that as well. Where do we get the ambushes from, actually? Yeah, that's a... Uh, Good point. The ambushers coming from the eerie woods. Prop 
probably get that, have to get that in the next settlement we go into. We want it in Arnheim, really, because, yeah, we want to upgrade it to get to tier 5. Same with this, actually, but for now, we can't get any of those until... I don't know, those are, those are just telling me because I don't have tier... Yeah, we've got to get past... We've got to have a it in a cap, provincial capital for 4 and 5. Okie dokie. Right. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to keep you about. I think I'm going to send you over to Kislev. And get a frost maiden if we had it through the ice court. But yeah, let's send let's send you off, I think. How do people feel about me? Dark elves don't like me. Marathi Yeah, she wrecked me when I did my S playthrough. Magical forest is what we have. Was it we have a bonus for magical forest, or like we can also build on them because we'd probably want to take out the Sisters of Twilight as well. I think try and get some good trade. Um, that's going to be the most direct path, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Let's just send. Let's go over this way to Kislev. Over you go. Here we can see some of their armies. Right, battle time. Call me witch. We will fight this one so we can check out our new units and Ostanki's new spells. And they have a Hydra to start with. You feeling all right there, Dark Elves? Yikes. Okay. In we go. You can teleport to um, the magical forest, and you get more essence per spirit essence per turn for the for the trees. It's the third hex. Okay. We can recruit more of the warriors, though. I think you guys said from the town building. That's cool. All right, start deployment. I mean, at least we've got anti-large against that Hydra. Let's have a wee looky. These dogs have not it does look good. Oh, yeah, you got the, all the bear. Hoods. Nice. There are they, weren't they armor piercing before? And they're now not. They still have some armor piercing damage. Spiders chilling the trees. That's over here. Ostankia. Oh, what the heck? Just casually pull out a rat. As you do. Oh, in it goes. In the pot. Rat stew. Fear is Missona. This one is freezing. Love the idle animations for the new lords that they always add in. We will make Mother Kislev proud. Oh, you just look like you need a hug. I might name you Cuddles.
He just wants a hug. Right. Let's do it. What have we got? The Forbidden Fens and the Witch Brew. What is it that we can see over here? You know oh, the, the Hydra. About me. About Mother Rostankia and her curses and her cauldron. Take heart, because the enemy does not. But I will teach them well. His arm just chucked in a, a skull. That's the little hand, like, pointing the same way she's pointing. Okay, let's go find the enemies. See if we can lure them out to us. Fury of the land. Magical attack. Strider causes fear. And that's healing. Oh, no. It's bigger... Bigger per second. Oh no, no, it is a heal per second. Also leadership. Okay. There they are. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's an angry looking cauldron. Go, go, go. It'll slow them as they get close to our line. Serpentine, serpentine. <laughs> Back we go. Thinking about popping you over there. How strong is the incarnate? Uh, my defense is pretty low. And what have you got? Howl of the Great Beast. Your anti-infantry. Need to get a bit closer to use that. And now pop that. Slow them all. And what are the things in the wood good for? anti tree as well. Oh, that's going to hurt. You guys hold the line. Bring the bats in. Send the spiders in. Her spell effects are really cool. Ooh, that got a heal. Sons of go, spiders, go. Ooh, that's cool. Like an Iron Man chest blast. Oof. Our strength is 650, damn. Does the first army always get completely wiped anyway? I'm going to try and hunt them down a bit. Oh, 
Take him out. A dead Hydra. Ah, uh, you guys just got a heal, didn't you? If we can. Guess for some extra XP. Heal them all up a bit. There we go. Job done. Smashing first victory. Carving up some dark elves. Now time to try and secure the rest of the province, I guess. Um, Spirit Essence, we already gained 13 from that. Uh, I'm gonna... We've got to gain a good amount of loot. Seed of Rebirth. Replenish hit points. Oh, that's nice. Um, I'm gonna go for some... We've got plenty of gold coming in, actually. More Spirit Essence, then, I guess. Covenant's magic seeps from the land, befouled by the blight of corruption. The daughters answer with a purifying chant to purge the rot, at least for a time. Okay, so we've got the purification chant. Nice. That's our first hex. Use the purification chant hex. Removes all corruption from the target settlement's province. Oh, wow. That's useful. Consume 100 spirit essence. Mission issued. And we'll get 1,000 gold. Oh, uh, right. So you can select. That's province wide, though, isn't it? So that'll just do it. That'll drop it, yeah, across the whole thing rather than just that one region. I was just thinking as well, we said we have a uh, melee attack increase when we fight against armies that spread corruption. Doesn't, does not Marathi spread corruption? Like Slaneshi corruption in Warhammer 3? So do we get a bonus versus, versus her then? So that'd be quite useful. Um, Root Marcher, as always, our first uh, our first point to pop. I'm just looking at what she's got. She's got, oh, she's got Siege Attacker, that's useful. But then surely the... Is always Elemental of Beasts is also Siege Attacker, yeah. Oh, it's like that. As we pop that, perform. Salia, mother, widow, blessed saint. Purification chants. And our hexes we don't get until we've gained some more trinkets. And trinkets we gain through trade, right? You're all with the Heralds of Ariel. Okay. All right, we can go take the settlement. Oh, that's got some timber. Yeah. 
And what have we got here? Regiments of Renown. The Wolf Hearts. Ashkina's Ambushers. Dinov's Brawlers. Streltsy. Watchmen in the Night. Armored Cossars. Their Jewel Swords, if I'm not mistaken. The Mordheim Beowulfs. Things in the Woods. Stars. Hearthblade. Zargard. Great Weapons. Or are they the ones with Jewel Swords? No, I think those are the Jewel Sword ones. I can just about see their portrait. Uh, Oath Brothers of Tor, War Bear Riders, and the Frozen Heart of Winter, Elemental Bear. Here we go. Medium. I'm going to fight it again because I've not played Warhammer 3 for a while and I'm quite happy just having some fun with it all. So in we go. Let's do it. Watch out for the Dark Shards. Nasty amount of armor piercing with them. Yeah, pop the... Actually, if, if the spiders could probably deal with the Dark Shards nicely if we could get them into them, if they, if they leave that flank open. You guys over there. Nice. Stankia, go there and yeah, try and hit them quickly. You guys here ready to move on up. Um, I'm just going to be annoying with the bats and put them way over there and flank round. Try and draw them into us a bit. I'll probably try and do is use her magic on them. Take heart. For today, I am on your side. That's nice. Can't reach them yet. Nearly spread out enough. All oh, that cauldron. Right, send in the spiders. And then bring the ambushes out over there. Drop a cauldron. Nice. Nice one, Cuddles. There we go. There's the break. And we don't need to chase them down. Because settlement battle, although... Do we get more XP for chasing them down? Or does it not matter? Does it automatically calculate it? Never quite remember that. So after they've all routed, does it not count anymore? Yeah, 
I love how his horns glow and his runes on his body like light up. Doesn't matter for settlements. Okay. Boom. I guess the only thing we could do there is use our healing on any single entities or small entities that have just lost a bit of health, not um, units themselves. It's really weird, actually. It's really not been that long since I since I played Warhammer 3 with the Jade Dragon campaign, but it feels like just having like two months not playing this, I've kind of forgotten it all. I don't know if that's maybe because I've been playing a lot of Napoleon and Shogun 2 in the meantime. Just weird to think because obviously I've been playing the Warhammer trilogy since Warhammer 1 came out in, what, 2016? That was the first time I've had any kind of breathe and a break, and I imagine same for quite a lot of people, to be honest. Um, a loot occupy gives more spirit essence, but I don't really want the added instability, so we'll just occupy for now. We've already got 41. A new trinket. Lovely. And we've gained another level. Which I am... Um, what's our blue line like, actually? I'm not going to worry about it that much because we're going to want to go through our top line. I imagine we'll be able to go through that as well, actually. Although maybe we'll just buff up some of our troops. Uh, we can't get that until rank 12. Oh, yeah, it's the spirit bear. I'm looking forward to getting that because you literally just lob a spirit essence bear at people. We'll go into witch brew then. And then next level we can get embodiment of the forest, which would be good. I suppose these would be... Right, I can free. get Kislevite Warriors, and we can get Kossars, Spider Hatchlings. Pretty good defense. I'm going to get some Kossars in for a more solid infantry line, because we're going to need to move on Arnheim pronto. I'm trying to remember what I did so catastrophically wrong when I last played, like the first 20 turns of Ostankia when the DLC first released. I think it was going after Noctilus. I mean, I wasn't necessarily playing the safest playthrough because I was like, it's just a one-off. It doesn't really matter. But I think it was leaving Arnheim and going after Noctilus and then having to retreat back from that because Marathi declared war on me. The, spirits agree. the next cuddles, what the next elemental should be called Fluffy. Oh, yeah, throw back to the Manfred one. Yeah, we'll, we'll get this one in now. Cuddles. Good old cuddles. Right, we've got our Witch's Hut activated now. Yeah, we'll have to have a Tim, although we don't have any male spellcasters, do we? I mean, we've had we've had female Tims in the past, just because we can. Maybe we'll have him... What's the... There's a new unit, though, isn't there? Or a new Lord type for Kislev now. And don't we also... Do we get the Golden Knight as well? Right, here we go. So we've got Blessings and we've got Curses. What's a good one to go for. What, what can we even do right now? We can go for teeth. Sympathy, my magic has. Oh, teeth and wood. Which would make the whiff of madness, which lowers defense and forces them into rampage. What happens if you put the wood in first? Do you get something different? Or is it the same thing? It doesn't really matter. No, it's the same thing. So we can create it. So trinket effects. Mm, oh, yeah, you pop it on one of their units, and then you also have a. Then it also applies a passive ability to those around it, right? Oh, oh right. We can add in more. This is similar to kind of like Grom's Cauldron, right? But you can like mix and match and build lots of different things. Required trinket in the secondary slot, the horned one trophy. Spirited away. Thanks, denial. There's so many different ones. So, yeah, curses to sling onto enemies and blessings to apply to your own troops. What are the good ones to go for? Spectres, miasma. Entities explode on death. Wow. That's a passive ability, though. So, put that on like an expendable unit, throw it into the thick of it, let them die and blow up. Did like doing that with bloated corpses of the Vampire Coast. 
Agony's succession will spread to friends within the spread range meters of the effective unit. Oh, so it like just spreads damage per second for 21 seconds. It has a cooldown of 120. Is it like what the it what it'll just trigger again? Constantly? That seems pretty disgusting. Typholis. That really weakens them. Exploding bats. Ah, oh, yes. That does sound good. Just checking them all out right now. Fragmenti. Permanent. Passive hex. Yeah, duration infinite. 24 to 48 damage per second. But only enables when their hit point... Are greater than it'll bring them down 25% health left. I mean, that's not bad. You got a long battle and they're not engaging you. Yeah, some nice bits. You can stockpile these, right? If I'm not mistaken. Oh, let's create an, let's create one. Right, so yeah, single turn, so you can pop do more next turn, I think. Who calls? It is I. Uh so we've got the timber, war sled, armies. What happens if I get rid of... I oh know, getting rid of the building shouldn't lose the resource, right? Because we get that as part of the settlement. Getting rid of that would remove it from trade, I think. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, cool. Right, yeah, we're going to be... Trying to knock out that army and then I guess move on Arnheim. Right, end the turn again. Just an anvil of exploding bats and spiders. Definitely sounds good. Okay, they've moved to Arnheim. What I'm thinking is I'll see if I can ambush outside the forest of Arnheim and lure them in. Don't know if they're going to go for it. The thing is, if we do that, we sacrifice a turn where we could be recruiting more units. But I don't know how likely they are to take the bait as such. Bring in the harvest or fight. I wasn't going to attempt to just keep spamming out Kislevite -like Warriors. They seem great. They're recruiting anyway, so they're not going to be... Mm, well, they'll, they'll, they'll get them and then they'll march. Oh, she doesn't get ambush dance. If you go agent, I mean, you're all queued up, but let's get you moving anyway. Found the elves of Tor and Lek. Can I get some trade going with you guys? At your service. You have a proposal yes, for the please. Azura. How delightful. How delightful. Yes, give me some gold as well. How wise. Thanks. I see high elves are still hoity toity stuck up uh, high elves, but nothing changes there. Most astute. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Smash Dark Elves. Be friends with High Elves. For now. Kislev will blame you. Hidden Guardian. Who calls? Oh, uh, so is he, oh, yeah, so, uh, Drusina? Strongholder. So, yeah, maybe make a... We'll make a Tim. Drusina. Although he won't be an enchanter then. Tim, Tim's diversifying. Tim's got stuff to do. What are all our heroes? Frostmaiden, Hagwitch, and Patriarch. Strongholder. A defenseman. That's, that seems pretty good. Spirits, I see. Is it that she doesn't have ambush yet while she's in a settlement? There is a magic in stillness. A silence. If we ambush there, will we be in the land calls to me there? No, it won't be in range if they strike it, so I'm just gonna go. Well there's there's 70% ambush chance there. Okay, yeah, go there. 
cowards. Say less. Do more. And if they don't come for me this turn, we'll just recruit one up, I guess. A few more units. Give that a go. Okay, no fluffy yet, but we do have a cuddles. An incarnate elemental of beasts. We can make Tim the Golden Knight. That's true. Though you can't rename them though, because they'll be a legendary hero. If I'm not mistaken. One must make use of this. Right, they didn't come and attack me. They're just going to continue to recruit. So we don't want to fall behind too much. So we'll sit back and recruit up a few of these. And let's get some Cossars in there as well. A couple of turns. If they're just going to stay put there, I guess we go for the moon shard and like trade settlements. Can you block them? Hag's curse mark. Okay. I mean, I'm not doing that. I'm going to be sending you over to Kislev. Scourge of Cain discovered. Uh, I could do another one of these, right? Now I've got two of them because they just store up all the time. What is it we need to do? We need to, for that mission. Um, so it'll be, oh yeah, power, they're down here now, aren't they? Power consumed, total consumed 30. So yeah, we need to keep doing those every so often. Is there no sea lane to get you there quicker? No, the closest sea lane is here. And that one would chuck me out over at cafe. Which wouldn't be great. The I don't think there's any. Yeah, there's no like sea lanes over by Kislev. I think isn't there? There's technically one here, but that's just taking you through from around by the Chaos Dwarves of Zarnagrand, right? The underground canal that just spits you out over there. So yeah, we've literally just got to sail there. Cackling, cackling wouldn't upset me, to be fair. those caverns of silk what are you doing dark sorceress yeah stay stay busy with the sisters of twilight heralds of ariel yeah they're, they're the sisters of twilight right Best. Yeah, so we can now get snow leopards. They're anti-large. Worth it. I mean, the cost of everything's pretty simple. We can get giant, more giant spiders, can't we? Hatchlings are expendable, so they'd be good for exploding. I am... A couple of snow leopards to, like, throw into the, into the fight? Why not? Let's get some cats. Off you go. That, that good. I'm glad your forests float. You have a cuddles. Oh, nice. Oh, there they go. Somewhere. Somewhere wicked. There you go. Hold storage. Has your replenishment rate plus 2%. Growth plus 10. Nice. Uh, means we can do some more tech. Oh, you guys said there's more tech all the way over to the right if we scroll. There is a lot. What do we want? What's good for you, Kislev? Uh, 
How was that? Local recruitment capacity plus one all province. That's nice. Uh, fighting shadows. Armor plus 20 for thing in the woods and forest animal units. So that would be good for all of them. And bonus versus infantry for cave bat units. That's not bad. That only takes a turn to do as well. Sympathetic undergrowth. Snipe for um, Akshina's ambushes. Campaign movement range minus 20% for enemy armies. Camera movement range plus 5%. That's great. So those are her own unique ones. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for that. Sympathetic undergrowth and then probably fighting shadows. Those both seem great. That cleansed earth. Unlocks the empowered purification chant. Curse mark hex. So that's how she gets what the third, the other, the other two. We prepare. Two more. Chaos waits for no one. Consume 17 more spirit by using known hexes to access this hex. All right. Oh no, sorry. They're those. Not witch's heart. unlocks the empowered one so it just it makes it more powerful stops the target army from moving entirely and that one target settlement province will not gain any additional corruption for the duration nice the duration oh wow so that makes them stronger so to get then we've got that first one purification chant already coven's curse mark consume 70 more spirit essence Jinx land is consumed to 70 more uh, spirit essence. Teleports the target army to a magical forest. Is that only magical forest that you've discovered so far or any magical forest that's on the map regardless of whether you've discovered it or not? Bewitching lure. We need 670 more spirit essence. Income gain from target settlements income plus 50%. Or income gain from target settlements income 50%. Oh, so can you, can you do that? Can you pop, pop that on any, any settlement in the game and you'll get 50% of their income? Are you guys saying you can teleport to any magical forest regardless of whether you've discovered it or not? That's cool. Um, recurrent spirits. That is consumer 1,470 more spirit essence. An army consisting of thing in the woods, incarnate, elemental of beasts, elemental bears will be summoned. In the target settlement owner's territory every other turn for five turns. Do they only stick around for the five turns, those armies? Or are they yours to keep forever slash until you disband them? That's mad. That could be used to send enemy... Oh, well, can you teleport enemy armies away? She could just like be like, bye. Don't want your invasion coming this way. Go away. That's mad. Call me witch. Say hag at your peril. I'm gonna move her here because I want to see where they've got their forces. Okay. Um. Magic what do we want to fill things out? I mean, probably one more archer. So I've got four of them plus the ambushers. And then. Um, more giant spider. Or I guess you could go for more bats to fly on around. Yeah, let's have that. Sounds good to me. We demand to respect. Cool, 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 cool. All right, let's get our agent moving as well. I prefer you can go all the way over that. Seducers of Slanesh. Trace. Imagine they're summoned units temporary, otherwise a bit OP, yeah. You need Welcome. Time is precious, so please make your need a little bit of gold. I mean, I feel like I've got plenty right now, so yeah, we'll do that. Most astute. Get you guys on side. Hey, Slanesh. Time to savor. I hear Marathi's quite the fan. I do these terrible things. Love 
Hello, poppets. A pyrrhic victory, medium casualties. I'm not losing anyone. But, yeah, I want to try and fight a massive army of uh, dark elves. Although, I'm not sure if I'll actually be able to win it. Hopefully, we can. That's a lot of nasty dark riders with repeater crossbows. We can pop the Whiff of Madness on. What is that? Charge bonus. Then the Whiff of Madness apply, which is their defense, and they, it rampages them. Um, should we just put that on the enemy cavalry, then, to lower their charge bonus? Or, I mean, on the infantry? They've got some decent charge bonus, actually. Yeah, let's pop it on you guys. On that cav. They're attacking me, so I get to hold my ground. In we go. I put a curse on you. Let's do it. Okay. Some high ground in the middle of us. Looks like it. Hmm. Not ideal. I'm trying to think of the shallow water. You better to like hold here and draw them through the marshland to us. Because they're the ones coming at us. I'm trying to remember what the impact is that it, shallow water has. Then we'd have to, our backs would be right up against the wall. But yeah, I think trying to draw them into the water might be a good idea. Pull back to it. Get up on the, the dry ground. Then probably have the... Oh, so yeah, we didn't get our last two units that we were recruiting, did we? Fine. So you'll have them to the right. And to the left. Might go and harass them with Ostanki to start with. Giant spiders. Yeah, lie in wait over here. Jump on out when we can. Have the bats up here to give us some vision over the battlefield. And then we've got the snow leopards, which are anti-large armor piercing. Keep them in the center. Thing in the woods. You guys are your yeah, anti-infantry. This is the incarnate. So I might have you guys over in the trees actually and then spring you out later on. Okay, yeah, let's pull you guys back. Okay, they did not hang about. What a yak. Oh, that's rip. Oh, we can over overcast that now. Replenishes hit points of combatants. So what have we got friend will it do friendly fire like to them or not? That won't work. I 
Try and slow him down a little bit. They're on rampage. Out of control. Nice. back a bit. Get ready to fire. There we go. Do you how? In you go. Take them out. Pull it back. Try and slow that big central group down. Bring the spiders out. Get him with the witch's brew. Oof. Those kids look like warriors getting wrecked. Firing off all the spells. Go, go, go. Going across the battlefield. Looking a little bit ropey. Get him over here. That's going. Really scrappy, this. Get 
get the heal in. Kidding, saying it was going to be a close one. with that that should hopefully knock out those units Land is power. oh i've lost the thing in the woods nuts although i'm hoping maybe they just broke and retreated off Victories in our grasp. Good, good, good. Glad you're okay, Cuddles. Knock out as many as possible. broken. So what's come back? Is it that one that's broken but not shattered yet? I think so. All shattered. Um, we probably want to leave the Lord on low health so they're easy to snipe out next time. Although I assume they're going to pull back to their territory. And we'll probably need to replenish now anyway. Period victory. There we go. Lost 585. Thing in the woods, I think. Yes, we got lucky and they just broke. And then we were so close to the white line, they just went straight over. Good. Didn't really want to lose them. Well, the curse worked well for the... The cav. They didn't get any kills. And soon they were just rampaging out of control the whole battle. So that took two of their units out completely. So that's good. Everybody wants some cuddles. Yeah, nice. Whole army survived. Um, we don't really need more gold right now, so I'd probably take the 6% replenishment. That's good post-battle loot. We, that really wiped their force quite nicely. But I bet they retreat back into their, their settlement. So I can't really do much against them just yet. Those who offend Keithlet yeah. So Probably have to move on the moon shard and then catch them either as they march out towards the forest and then hit that capital. Okay. 
Technology research. Good. It gives us more movement range. So yeah, we can go down here and strike them. The moon shard is just about to upgrade. So we've caught it just before it gets more forces. They, meanwhile, they've pulled back there. Arnheim itself doesn't have a massive garrison. It would help if it didn't have an army in there. Technology-wise, yeah, we don't have enough um, spirit essence. Let's get fighting shadows. That'd be useful. We've now got those extra units recruited as well. That's good. Okay. Embodiment of the forest plus 100% ammunition. Plus 100%, yeah. Uh, during forest battles, physical resistance 10%. That's for Osanki, I assume. Uh, and Woodsman for Lord's Army unit can pass through trees. Okay. Or I can go for Vengeance of the Spirit. So, no, we got we got two two points. Oh, happy days. Yeah, we'll go for that then. And Vengeance of the Spirit. Blessing spell. What's that? Omen of the Spirits. Cause damage to ourselves. Damage per second. Oh, right. But, oh, right. While it's doing damage to you, it gives you spell mastery plus 40%, which increases the, the strength and damage of your own spells, right? And then, yeah, you also get Vengeance of Spirits. So you would activate Omen of Spirits and then fire Vengeance of Spirits for, like, maximized damage. Strong versus 25 men unit or above. Weak versus single combatant. Okay. But that's... Is that weak against multiple units? It's good just against singular ones. Face the interlopers. What's that do? Spell resistance to ship. I mean, I'm going to go for spirit. Uh, Vengeance of the spirits because I want to see that in action. And we will kick off uh, next episode. Jesus. Probably fighting in the Moonshard to see the new spell in action. If we order resolve it, we will lose our thing in the woods and our cave bat. So we don't want that. So yeah, we will open next episode for those watching on YouTube uh, with this battle for the Moonshard. So until then, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Take care and ciao for now.